at least that was my perception of it, because I had to live long enough in order to understand that you have to have a forgiving heart in order to understand the true pitfalls and hardships of a black man in America. And my father, he was a product of that. He made a lot of decisions, he made a lot of choices, and the one that probably hurt and helped me at the same time was to stay awake. But that's part of the reason why I say this is the year of the father, where all the fathers got to stand up for their sons and daughters and be a man that they need to be for them. They say success has a million fathers. Well, I start with these guys right here. That's this right. is my village. These are the men who motivated me, who speak to me, who have spoken to me, who have been solid no matter how fucked up it may have been. I'm sorry, I'm cursing this, you know how I really feel. Because at one point it got really thick. But motherfuckers wouldn't fuck with me. Mm. Come on. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. I get it. I understand. Sometimes you gotta go through some shit to get to something. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you, they solid, mm. and it ain't about a motherfucking hit right now. Come on, they solid, and they gonna right. always have my back. I'ma always have it. Mm. Now, somebody asked me a question about ego and this idea of having an ego. Could you be so confident that you could come to LA Reid's office at? 12 or 13 years old and say, you meeting your next superstar and I'm gonna take that space on the wall right there. You're gonna put my picture up there. No, that wasn't ego speaking. I rebranded that word that day. Mm. I expressed goals out loud. There we go. I know it's an L in there, but fuck it. No. <laughs> and the reality is, you have to express your goals outwardly. No matter what people may see, no matter what they may feel, no matter how dark it yes. may be, no matter how complicated it may be. Because that's the only way that it will ever become a reality. You have to see it first. You have yeah. to then move in action and decide that this is what I will do. This is what I'm committed to. And you're going to have a cast of people who are going to be with you. And you're going to have a cast of people who are going to hate you. Yeah. Come on. So long as you stay connected to what you feel, what you love, what you're committed to, something major will happen and God will show up. Yes, he will. So, now. I can proudly say I'm the bastard of us, right? But I made something of it. And I did that because my mother, she subbed in two ways. She was a mother and a father at the same time. This is the power of a black woman in America. All right. With everything that I have accomplished, I didn't do it alone. I want to thank the ones who are not here to be able to see this moment who I talked to, some of whom are fathers or were like the fathers to me. Harry Belafonte is somebody who I always look up to. Quincy Jones is somebody who always I look up to and to be in this moment. Clarence Avon is another person that I look up to. And Virgil Roberts is another person who I looked up to and continued to push me and make certain that whatever I thought of, I could absolutely achieve. Evangelist Ernestine Carter, who I lost. And Kurt Franklin, he helped me usher her into this ascension and this place. And all of these wonderful things began to happen. She was an earth angel and she now is in heaven, making these moments happen. <laughs> it is the hard work that we, we put into this, but it is the belief in those who see something in us. A woman, a very important woman, is at the very foundation of this. A, a man and a woman by the name of James Lackey and Nancy Lackey. They were at the foundation of who I am as a young, hopeful child who just wanted to do something, who wanted to matter. 
even though there wasn't a dad to call, even though there was not anybody to pick up and say, hey, you're gonna be all right, this is what you do, this is what's okay, this is what isn't. You don't like girls, you're gonna go through shit, you gotta figure it out. Um, but it led me to be the father that I am to my boys, Cinco and Navi, who are here today. And my little ones, Sire and Sovereign, who are home as well. Um, thank you all for, why are you looking like that? Are you not happy today? Okay. Um, <laughs> And this one, he be in my DMs, you know, hitting people and stuff. Anyway. <laughs> but, um, so, I thank y'all for being patient with me. Um, I forgive each and every person who had anything to say negative about That's me it. because it only motivated me. There we go. There we go. Good, good is more than just a song. I'm trying to, I'm turning a new leaf. You know, we got to... Be cool for the sake of the kids. I look at Swiss Beats and, and his ex-wife and uh, Alicia Keys and the fact that they managed to pull things together. I'm trying to, Mika. <laughs> she here. She here. <laughs> First step. You're right. <coughs> so. <laughs> yeah, that's a heavy one. <laughs> But it's all about you. It is 100% all about my children. And making certain that you understand that your dreams can come true if you truly commit it, if you are committed to it, if you're dedicated to something, and you find passion, and you stay committed to it, this could potentially be you. This could be your moment. Not on this stage, because I'm the only one that's gonna have this one. <laughs> So happy for LeBron and his son. Yeah. This is the year. Um, you know, to my team and each and every person that had anything to do with this moment that I'm having, uh, Lafitte Group, uh, my management company, Akamon Jones. I said everybody on this stage with Jonte Austin, who holds me down and is my maverick. Chris Chambers, who always has my back and always stays focused with me. Each and every person who has had a part in this moment.